back, and forward, back, and forward. Alright, this is my phone today because my tablet's still uploading, or exporting, whatever you want to call it, the video that I just did. So we're coming into this one. Today is January 26th, serving with humility. So put those arms down, get in a straight line. Pushing up, back to the toes, drawing those shoulders back. Serving with humility. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Colossians 3.12 The fastest way to, top some t to the top sometimes is to start at the bottom and to serve in humility with your heart. Philippians 2, 3 encourages us. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself. Through the years, I've watched people work and serve out of both selfish ambition and humility. And only one succeeds in the long run. People who walk in humility, who value others above themselves, follow after destiny. They discover their purpose and place. They are willing to work whenever they are needed, wherever they are needed, and whatever project is at hand. They are willing to lay down their lives for the team and the bigger picture. As a result, they are influential. Promotions come to them. As you jump into your day, close yourself with humility and serve with all your heart. As you do, I believe you'll get to the top faster than you ever imagined. God, I praise you that in your economy, I praise you that in your economy, the last is first. You are so gracious and wise. Please show me how to act in humility when I serve at work. Please help me to be there for others, to help them out, to lift them up, and to remember we are all in it together and working together, Lord Jesus. Please help me not to think I have to take it all on myself but to use others and to give them the privilege to be able to help out too. Don't take away their steam, but give them flame. Give them the ability to burn bright or shine bright. However you want to put it. Just Lord Jesus, please help me to lift others up today and let me let others help me out too. Those shoulders drawn back. Just take it in. Think about everything you've got going on. Think about your day, your focus. Whether it's the end of your day, you're winding down. Take in what you've done. Focus on the positives. If you're starting your day out, focus on the day ahead. How can we make this a positive day? I put it on the computer. Of course, I was all hard on focusing on it at first, but hold on a second here. I'm focusing. 
Magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can make anything happen. You have to have confidence in yourself. Know that you can do this. You have ability. You are strong. You are capable. Remember that. You can make a difference. People need you in their lives. Happiness, magic will come from that. If you believe in that and you're really there for other people, it will be wonderful and magical about everything that you can accomplish. Plank, draw the shoulders back. Keep those shoulders drawn back. I'm getting the video ready to upload here. It's just finished processing. A little more time. Draw the shoulders back. knees. Pushing it back. And then stretch in there. One hand down, one hand up. Opposite hand down, opposite hand up. Stretch out the shoulder. So, use your ability, lift others up today. Let them help you. But remember, magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can make anything happen. Believe in yourself. Believe in your capabilities. Lift others up and live your life with humility today.